We are calling people who claim the name of Christ to repent of their apathy towards the children of our community where abortion is the number one cause of death and where orphans are ignored and left in foster care to rot and to age out. Right now there is 13,000 kids in Texas foster care system that are ready to be adopted but Christians do not want them because they are not babies. So they are left to rot and gay and lesbian couples rent, buy them, adopt them, and they get abused in the system. And they go from foster home to foster home. People go get, go warm a pew and get your ears tickled. Ignore the word of God and what it says we are to do. It is wicked and evil to know what we should do, but don't do it. We, I call men and women who claim the name of Christ to repent of their apathy towards children in the community. How is it that we claim the name of Christ, but the number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice? How is it that we claim the name of Christ, but there's 13,000 kids in Texas waiting to be adopted, but Christians won't adopt them. Gays and lesbians adopt them. The reason Christians don't want them is they want babies. People repent of not loving what God loves and not hating what God hates. We must be obedient to the Word of God or else we are guilty and what happens is, is Amos 5 is now for us. The Bible is a true and living Word of God. And we cannot ignore the Word of God. But for a time such as this, and for a Stonebriar church, and for Chuck Swindoll, Amos 5 is for you. Amos 5 talks about how God hated the people's worship at the time. How their festivals were a stench in his nostrils. And how no matter how much you pray, God says he won't hear you. That's because child sacrifice was going on in the land. And God's people weren't opposing it. God's people were even partaking in it. Read Amos 5 and repent of your apathy. Stop warming a pew and having your ears tickled on Sunday. And let's be obedient to the Word of God. I exhort you to repent. You have not failed to have a good moral opinion. You have not failed to be pro-life. You have failed to be Christian. For it is wicked and evil to go to church on Sunday, but not act out the Word of God in your life. Repentance begins at the house of the Lord. People who claim the name of Jesus Christ must repent. For child sacrifice is the number one cause of death in Texas. And the church falls deathly silent. They may have a good moral opinion. But they do not take moral action. We need to make abortion illegal in Texas. If just the pastors acted like Christians, it would be illegal. Dad, yeah. You could say to the kids, yeah. ask your parents why. Children, children, ask your parents why it's legal to kill babies in Texas. And ask your daddy and mommy why they do nothing to make it illegal in Texas. Why is it legal to murder babies in Texas, to kill babies? And we do nothing to help make it illegal. Yes, everybody has a fine moral opinion. They know the word of God, thou shalt not murder. But we ignore it in the land. And the men who are to stand at the gates, the men who are supposed to protect the innocent, look after the orphan, 
They grow fat in the day of slaughter. 60,000 babies will be killed by their mommies and daddies in Texas this year alone. And we ignore it. Wicked men like Chuck Swindoll and Stonebriar Church with a $16 million a year budget ignore child sacrifice in the land and do nothing to help make it illegal. Woe to you men.